Welcome everyone to a new D&D game, Tavern of Ozoth. So, this may be a long video, because I reserved a lot of time. And I want to show you guys how you can play as multiple characters in this game. So, the gloomy ambience of Harndor's constant embraces you. It's time-worn wood in the walls, creaking with every gust of the biting wind. The flickering candles cast dancing shadows, barely pushing back in roaching darkness. Harndor's tale of woe rescinds in the room. His fearful eyes reflecting the struggle of man against unseen enemy, his children huddled close echo his fear with wide haunted eyes. The silence that follows his tale is oppressive, only broken by occasional crackle from the dying fire of relentless drumming of rain on the roof. So I also wanted to show you guys how how you can be multiple characters in a D and D game. If you're play D, D with me you'll know i love playing multiple characters so we're tom dandy right now the elf chronomancer so i raise my hand and shout it's raining <laughs> i'm sorry but that was that had to be hilarious so it does take a little while generating action by the way, we are with this Haldor, who is solemn. His description is born in simple family. So yeah, I raise my hand and shout, it's raining. <laughs> so I did start this, we'll see. With a touch of vibration, Tom Dandy raises his hand, declares the obvious, it's raining. His voice echoes in the choir room, drawing a few startled glances, glances from the children. The statement hangs in there, mingling scent of damp wood and fear that pervades Howder's farmstead. Now here's what you can do with multiple characters. I had to do this, so. If I can select anything, we're on refresh page real quick. Ah, oh, there we go. So now we're going to describe our next action. I will slap the elf. <laughs> so, if you want play, if you don't like people and you want, go. Oh! Roll a one d twenty. Perform an unarmed strike. <laughs> Sure, you can actually roll. Okay, roll. So we got a 10. Goodness, that's gonna hit, isn't it? So basically, you can have. I'm thinking of the relationship between these two being a elf, like Lord of Rings elf and dwarf relationship. With a sudden moment, the gruff dwarf Gondorosa lashes out, his palm catching the elf Tom Dandy off guard. The slap echoes across the room, a stark contrast to incessant drumming around outside. Tom staggers back, a hand flying his cheeks, surprise flickering in his eyes. Here's a. I'm gonna see. So basically, I am playing on the Lord of Rings kind of relationship. We have to do a persuasion check. Seven. Probably one of the worst I have ever done, but okay. That's interesting that we have persuasion checks and unarmed checks with Tavern of Ozoth. Hello, kick this elf out. Dom Dandy's voice rings out, echoing through the room. Haldor's eyes widen surprise, but he shakes his head. I cannot, 
he says. We are all under the same roof, and we all face the same threat. <sighs> okay. Threat? I see no threat. So yeah, if you do wonder um, about these, and why is it having me roll intimidation? But we did get a 11. So basically, he is a speaker of God. You can homebrew your classes with Tavern of Alzoth, which is actually pretty amazing. Uh, we do have some equipment, meaning our AC is 18. Uh, good grief, that's a lot of AC. Threat. I see no threat. Gondor's voice booms, echoing the room. He stands firm, his expression stoic as he confronts the fear that pervades the room. Haldor watches him. His eyes get wide and fearful, but there's a glimmer of hope. A spark kindled by Gondor's words. Now I wonder, can you... You can generate characters on the fly. <laughs> That'll be fun. What threat? Now this is basically a campaign that's coming out soon. Why is it having me roll all these hostile actions? I don't know but is doing his job. Oh, come on. So, it looks like there is text speech in this. I wonder what it sounds like. Tom Danny, the elf chronomancer, turns towards Haldor, his gaze hard and questioning. Haldor, what threat? He asks, his voice echoing in the room. Haldor swallows nervously before speaking. A demonic tooth. My oh, children what? found it in the woods, he says, his voice trembling. Since its discovery, night creatures have terrorized us. My son's fallen sick. I believe we're cursed. His words hang heavy in the room. The atmosphere thick with fear now, and uncertainty. Now, since Dundar is a speaker of God, we are going to demand we see him, son. Hmm. Bring your son out. Maybe I can heal him. Now, he is a speaker of God, and I'm having both these guys be a little haughty. <laughs> um, just play around. Now, this guy it has stuff like Ben's time. Uh, he can do his abilities. His equipment are a hourglass pendant and a spell book. It's having me roll. Okay. So Tom Dandy. Well, wrong place. So I guess we have to roll before it'll come out with something. Okay. We got 16 though. So that's good. So it looks like it's generating the whole scenario. So we'll see. I didn't mean cast it though. That wasn't why I was implying. So basically his blessing of resilience is where he calls upon the gods, bless himself or an ally with enhanced resilience. The target gains temporary hit points equal to 1d6 plus Gondor's wisdom modifier. Bring your son out. Maybe I can heal him, Gundor says. His voice filled with a quiet determination. Haldor hesitates and nods, leading the way to a dimly lit room. Uh, it didn't cast it, but it did have me roll. <laughs> so, let's see. I hold my hand out and say, wait one sec. I'm going to see if the demonic tooth is in this room. It wants me to perform time warp. Basically, 
increases his speed and agility, he gains advantage, dexterity until next turn. He has neutral good while this guy is lawful good. We got a 10 for that. <laughs> Wait one sec. Awesome. Tom Dude. Danny interjects, See. holding out his hand. Wait, his... And wait one second. Tom Dandy interjects, holding out his hand. His voice is steady and stark, contrast to the tension that fills the room. His gaze fixed on the door, unreal expression in his eyes. Ah! What is it? My friend. So actually, Hador's description is basically he's a power when madness befell our son. Oh. Okay. So his status is worried. Changed to worried for some reason. Uh, ah, what is it, my friend? It, my Gunder friend. asked, turning his attention to Tom. His voice is gentle, a stark contrast to the tension that fills the room. Tom's gaze remains fixed on Haldor, so now, his expression unreadable. So <laughs> I'm playing three characters, I can write the next step. I narrow my eyes. Um, anything sus. <laughs> um, I did want to do that, I expressed. So we're on per form a perception check, which we just managed to get five. That's fun. So if you don't play d and d five is not good. <laughs> five is not good for a persuasion roll. Tom Dandy narrows his eyes at Haldor, his gaze piercing. He turns slowly, his eyes scanning the room. Hmm. I cast my on the sun. I cast my spell on the sun. And it wants us to roll for it. Let's see, eight. That's worse than last time, but okay. Gundar Rockseeker, the dwarven speaker of God, raises his hand and begin chant a deep resonating voice. The air shimmers around him as he casts blessing or resilience, vine spell known for its healing properties. I watch. So we're gonna say I watch with this guy. And I have performed a perspection. How bad is this guy at perception? I don't know how to check that. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know how to check it, but have I gained any Tom Danny watches silently, his gaze keen and observant. His eyes move from Haldor to Gunda, then to the young boy, Phelan. The room is filled with it a tense silence, broken only by the soft murmurs of Gunda's spellcasting and the low crackle of the fire. As Tom watches, he notices nothing out of the ordinary. Everything is as it seems, a simple farmstead caught in the grip of fear and uncertainty. Watch as my spell does its work. And I have roll for the spell again. Ten. Okay. I think we already rolled, didn't we? Roll a 1d6 this time? Okay. So, 4 and 1d20. Okay, I guess it worked. Let's see. <coughs> As Gundar's spell takes effect. Ah, so we managed to heal him. 
I hope you guys liked this video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, especially the adventures of this elfin dwarf, remember like and subscribe. I might generate another character next time too, just for a commenter. Thank you.